Hey, good morning everybody, or good afternoon, it depends on when you're watching this video. Lee Roth with Dean King Training Institute, and I, I'm so excited about this interview, because first of all, it's been a while since I've had the opportunity to do an interview with some of my students, but these particular three gentlemen, uh, it's, not only has it been a pleasure to train with them, but, and I do say with them, I always go from that point of view of not training them, but I train with them. Um, but these three gentlemen are actually here from the same dealership. They're here from Toyota Brookfield from uh, up in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And they're all here together. Um, they've done two weeks so far. Um, the good news, the bad, uh, the, you know, the great news for them is they're actually coming back for two more weeks here in about a month. So they're going to have the opportunity to go practice, figure out what's working for them, figure out the few struggles that they're going to have, which we all have struggles after we get through training, um, but then be able to come back and I can tweak those different struggles and make them better and help them really get to that level that they're, they're wanting to get to. So coming around the table, let me introduce Alex Howard. Say hi to everybody, Alex. Nice to meet you. Mr. Scott Brown. Hey, guys. And Mr. Roman Hernay. Hello. Um, all gentlemen from, like I said, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, it, it, except for Roman, and I'll, I, I get to the, the pleasure of saying he's actually originally from the Ukraine, um, and he's been here in the United States for how long now? Almost a year. Almost a year. Um, and, and I have to say, I was very impressed when I found out I had a student coming in from the Ukraine. I, I never I never know about someone's English. This guy has only been here less, a little less than a year. And even though he and I have joked about it, and we were just joking that he said, my, my English is not, not very good. His English is actually very good. Um, and it was surprising. So it's, it's been a pleasure working with, with all three of you. But um, So first and foremost, um, I, I'm assuming the dealership sent you all here uh, because they want to start doing in-house PDR, right? Yep. They, they want to start cornering that market not relying on outside vendors to do it, which I know is a conversation that I have with my, my brethren in the industry regularly, that half of them get really mad at me for doing that kind of stuff. Um, and I understand because I was one of those outside vendors for many, many years. Um, but it also makes perfect sense for y'all as well as the dealership, uh, let, let's face facts. So um, Alex, let's start with you on that side of the table. Um, and, and Alex, of the three, Alex didn't isn't just doing PDR. Alex also did a week of smart paint repair with me, doing bumper spot repairs, things like that. How's the training been for you? I think it's been great. A lot of fun, learning a lot of things, a lot of different skills that I can put forth onto uh, my job on the day-to-day -day business, or day-to-day -day side of things. Right. It's been, it's been great. So what's your confidence level, um, both paint and PDR, as far as being able to go back and, and hit the ground running? We all know you still need to, we all need to practice. I Absolutely. mean, that's, that's a no-brainer. Everybody that trains, and it doesn't matter, we've talked about this, it doesn't matter if you do a two-week course or tw up to the 12-week course, there's a lot of practice involved. There's a lot of dedication to that practice involved. But how do you feel? Just knowing where you're at today, after two weeks of PDR, a week of paint, how do you feel? Confidence level, uh, it's a lot higher than I started two weeks ago, for sure. <laughs> I, I do have a lot of confidence to work on when it comes to certain dents, but I do feel like this opportunity to go back to my job and practice on a wide variety of different cars, and not only just for dents, but for the paint repair, it's... I, I think my confidence is going to increase further on that journey. So awesome, awesome. Well, and you know, in, in the three of us or four of us, I guess I should count myself here. The four of us have kind of talked about this um, along with the other guys that are on campus. Is the situation that y'all are in is actually a very fortunate situation from the aspect of. Um, you know, guys that a lot, so many of the guys that come in are entrepreneurs, they're starting their own business, right? That y'all have the opportunity to go back and have your job so you're not completely freaking out about how you're going to make a living while you're also continuing to learn and to get better. That gives you this opportunity, and, and, and in a wholesale environment, which inevitably y'all are in working for the dealership you're going to have so many cars to practice on and have that that opportunity to get better and better with lack of a better term on the dealership's nickel 
you know, which is why how you're here in the first place. So it, it is a great situation. So, Mr. Scott. Sir. How are you doing, my friend? Well, Mr. Scott. Bring it. Just bring it. <laughs> Mr. Bring Scott, it on. Mr. Scott was on the struggle bus when I first got here. And um, I, I will say at the end of my this part of my trip, I have enough confidence. I have some jobs lined up already, and I have enough confidence to know that I'm not going to make the dent worse. And for four week, for four weeks of school, I'm okay with that. You know, I, I didn't think I was going to come out and just you know boom boom boom. I knew that wasn't going to happen. But at least I have enough faith and confidence in myself and what I know that I won't make anything worse, and that makes me feel real good. Because like I said, I have some jobs lined up, and I know I'm not going to make it worse. So that, that, that's I, I feel like for four weeks, I got something. And the trainers are super patient. I for sure wanted to give up on myself. If I had driven here, I would have jumped in the car and drove and drove home. Like, no problem. I, I just would have, I would have just let it go. Because coming in day after day and, like, just not picking it up and failing or feeling like you're failing, you know, that's a little nerve-wracking. So I... I know that I was in my own head a lot, and uh, you know, I, I wasn't made to feel bad about it. You know, I just kept on coming in. I didn't quit on myself. I just kept on coming in. And the teachers just kept on working with me. You know, if they had to show me something multiple times, they just had to show me something multiple times, and I wasn't made to feel, you know, less than because I wasn't where I felt like I should be, or, or you know, I, I wasn't judged. They just. You know, it's gonna it's gonna be okay. Look, it ain't gonna be okay right away. So don't even come here thinking it's gonna be like <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go there for four weeks, two weeks, and, and start nailing shit. Cause you're not. You you're just not. You're gonna come in here, <clears throat> and if you're honest with yourself, you're gonna know you got to go home and practice. You know, you just you're gonna have to get a hood. You're gonna have to practice, and just getting yourself to the confidence level where you know you're not gonna make anything worse is a is a is a big step forward. Especially for me, you know, like I said, I got a couple jobs lined up and I'm not freaking out about it. Nice. I, know, I know when to, I know when to stop. I know when I just know, you know, I know only to push when I, I'm in the spot, you know, just little things like that. So you're in good hands. Like I said, don't come thinking you're going to just jump out there and just start nailing shit because unless you're a savant, that's not going to happen. <laughs> you're going to have to practice. And you're going to have to commit to it and just know that this is not good. You're not going to go to sleep and wake up and come in the next day and just like bam, bam, bam. I'm sorry. No. You See, got, you got to practice. I wanted to do this interview for a couple of reasons besides the fact I wanted to, you know, have all these guys uh, opportunity to have an interview with these. But I also knew my brother here was, uh, was going to keep it real for everybody because without throwing him under the bus, since you did it yourself, he, he did struggle. Um, and, and the struggle was, was really more in his head than it was the actual abilities. I was struggling. And, and and it was because so many, and this happened, and you and I talked about this, it wasn't just you, you're not the Lone Ranger, that so many people come in with an expectation that they don't really understand how difficult PDR is. And they expect to be better than they are so much faster than they can be. And, and for an instructor and a trainer, we do everything we can. And like you, you touched on, and I, had, I said to you, I will never give up on you as long as you don't give up on yourself. And, and then even if you do give up on yourself, I'm still not giving up on you. But, I, but if, you know, it's the old, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. But you didn't ever give up. You were frustrated, and I knew it, and I could see it. And there's only so much I can do within that frustration until that light bulb finally went on. And when it went on... That's the thing. I got no I had no recollection of when the light bulb went on. I just know that I was asked to do something, and I did it a good enough where all of them, the teachers, were like, not bad, you know, good job. You know, at first I got nothing, like, you know, because <laughs> cause it looked like bad. And so then yeah, I, I just something happened and when that when you have that aha moment you'll, you'll be like okay maybe I can for the record his bad wasn't that bad it just was in his mind I kept trying to explain to him that it looks really good it's way better than it was when you started it has a little bit more to go we can do this we can do that in his mind it looked like a chewed up water bubble gum 
but that was really helpful, like, getting it to a place where I hadn't, because they'll tell you, they're like, you know, you hadn't ruined it, like, it's fixable, like, you hadn't done, you haven't taken the dent above and beyond something that can't be, like, repaired quite easily for them, you know, that's, that's, because uh, the first couple of dents, I, I, <laughs> I ruined it, like, it looked like acne. You know, the moral to this story, for, for any of you guys that happen to catch this and watch this video, that are still thinking about training and thinking about coming in, you've got to come in with an open mind of your you, the possible expectations. Can you get very good at PDR? Yes, you can, but it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. And the, for those of you that know me in the industry, you, you know that I, I'm not pompous at all about my, te my abilities or anything like that. And I say this all the time, that it takes time. You are not going to come in and train, no matter if you're here or anywhere else that you train, for that matter, or with anyone else, you're not going to come out after a two or four or even up to a 12-week course, you're not going to come out as me. You're not going to come out as one of the top trainers in the country. You're, you're, you're not going to come out as, a, as me or a Mike Toledo or a Jim Mitchell or a Bryce Kelly. It just doesn't happen. You know, we've spent years and years and years and years and thousands and thousands of cars and tens of thousands of debt getting to the point that we're at. You know, I sucked when I got out of school. Don't forget it, guys. I'm a Dean King graduate. I went through Dean King almost 20 years ago. Skip Phipps was my trainer in Missouri. And trust me, you can probably call Skip right now or message him on Facebook and he'll tell you, I sucked at the end of my class. I'm sure I did. I vaguely remember it. It's been a long time. I'm old. I can't help it. But you just have to put in that dedication and know that you weren't the Lone Ranger. You guys out there have to put in that, that and have to have that thought process that it is a learning curve. You have to learn this. You have to dedicate yourself to it and practice it. It does not happen overnight, but it will happen and it can happen if you have that dedication. Thank you, sir. It's been, it truly has been a pleasure. And I hate that you struggled the way you did, but on one hand, I almost am a little bit glad that you did because now that you are past the struggle, you see it so much clearer, and I think it actually helped you. The one thing that I was never worried about Scott, or actually about any of these three guys, but, but especially about Scott throughout the struggle, he saw it. You were able to see every minute imperfection in the dent that I pointed out. Anytime I said, you see this shallow, or do you see this slight high, or do you see this or that, you saw it. You could see it. He just was tentative about getting it done. And that was all because of up here, you just, you know, it just was what it was. You just couldn't pull the trigger to commit to actual movement of what you needed to move. I, I, you know, I, um, this is my fault. I didn't calm down. I was just inside, you know, I had the anxiety, my movements, like you, it's, it's totally like when they say push slowly and release, they, they really mean it. It's not push slowly and release. It's like push slow. So slowly. it's I, like, it's a thing. I gotta you know? say, I gotta say something funny here. I think I mentioned this to you. It, it, it's, Scott's a big guy, you know? It, it, just like myself, you know, we, we've kind of got that stature. Well, when Scott first walked in the door, I first thing that crossed my mind was, I'm going to have to rein him in. Scott comes across as that bull in a china store, right? He's just going to come in here and just try to muscle everything and pound it down out, which we all know you can't do. And I thought I was going to have to lasso this guy and just rein him in. No, no, no. He's a big teddy bear. And I kept having to try to get him to push harder. And it was just like, are yes, you kidding me? He did. Really? And, and that's what I was up against with him. So I, I genuinely, I mean, you look at this guy and think he's just going to try to overpower the dent. Oh, no. No, no, no. My 19-year-old daughter pushes harder than he does. I, how, how that, yeah, that made you feel good. So <laughs> I just had to learn, you know, yeah. and I had to listen. and I had to, I had to slow down. S slow down. Slow down. When your eyes are stressed out, walk away. It'll, the dent's not going. The dent's not going to disappear. You have to make it disappear. Very so true. When you get when you need a break, take it. The dent will be there. Absolutely. And Absolutely. I have to really slow down. 
<laughs> well, and that's true for everybody. I mean, I, I tell y'all on day one, you are going to get sick and tired of me saying slow and steady. Did, did y'all get tired of hearing me say slow and steady? Because I say it. I have to say that all the time because that's what you have to do. You have to be very steady. Push slow. If you push fast, you're going to screw up. It's real simple. It, it just it that's just the nature of it, right? So, oh my gosh. Mr. Roman, how you feel, my friend? I feel good. So, how has the training overall been for you? I think it it was really help, helpful. I feel like I can be good. Just need some time. Right. And a lot, a lot of practice and practice and practice again. See, Roman, without him realizing this, is the perfect epitome. He's a perfect example of the student that comes in day one and day two and has a very, very difficult day one and day two, which are always the hardest days, right? You know, I told y'all, day one and day two is brutal, right? Day That's four true. and five are brutal. <laughs> It, it, Thanks, bro. It, 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 it does go down. I promise it does. But you you struggled day one and day two. You know? Like everyone. Right. Like everyone. And I, again, I never give up hope. I never give up faith. I, I'm always there for you. And I gave you as, as much effort as I, as I possibly could give you. But Roman was one of those that, like, day three, end of day three, after we did glue pulling, the glue pulling is what made it for you, I think. At least that's the way it looked, okay? Maybe. On day four, everything came together. You know, day one, two, it, it's a struggle. Your, your head hurts, your brain hurts, your eyes hurt, your back hurts, everything hurts. You're using muscles that you're not used to using. You're, you're concentrating in the light and all that. And you're so focused on trying to find your tooltip and using the light in every aspect of it. Then we do glue pulling on day three, and you kind of you kind of take that ease, that step back a little bit, and things start coming together in your vision and everything. And day four, this guy just went, whoosh, took off. And from that moment, your decks have gotten cleaner and cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. And and it and it's it has been really cool to watch all three of y'all that's happened to. Um, but but with you, I was able to literally day by day specific watch from, you know, you leave on Wednesday to Thursday morning, you start pushing and there's a difference. I can see a change. And to Thursday afternoon, I can see another change. And Friday morning, I can see another change. And it's just increasingly gotten better and better. How's your confidence level going back to the dealership? You 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 ready to hit the ground? I'm, around, I'm, you? I'm ready. I'm gonna try. Good. I wanna try myself in real job, real world. Good, good. And, and like I said before, <coughs> the the number of cars that y'all have access to is gonna be be massive. I am so looking forward to when you guys are coming back. Um, I think it's roughly the first or second week in October, so you'll have about a month off to practice, and and then y'all come back down, and, and and it's gonna be fabulous. I can't wait to see you guys come back and see what what you've accomplished while you're gone and then you know it would be a blast to be able to push y'all forward into some other stuff so um guys i hope y'all have enjoyed this interview um again we're trying to come back doing these more often um and with uh, all these guys that are coming through the, the campus these days and doing different recon uh graduates as well um please don't ever hesitate to reach out to us Yes, Mr. Scott. Guys, you want to come also because Todd, the guy, the, the the president of the school, his business course, you just pick up a lot of things for you that are extremely useful if you are already have your own business or you're thinking about starting your own business. You you pick up a lot. You know, he, he really takes the time to tell you things that you probably haven't heard. You might have had, you might have heard them, but hearing something twice just helps drive it home a little bit and he, they all make themselves accessible to you like you know you get all of their phone numbers you you're encouraged to call them to reach out to them to whatever they're offering take it you know not like that but just the, they're offering you know so just, just just you know take the blessing that's all I got thanks God. And, and that's true it's like with for myself and I, I only speak for myself but um, yeah if you can't get a hold of me you're not trying yeah. I mean, that's just genuine. Everybody that comes in, besides the fact that most everybody on the internet 
has all my contact info as well. Um, you know, y'all know how to reach me on all the social media, my email, my phone number, and yeah, if you, if you can't get me, you're just not trying. So don't 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 blame me for for not taking it. I take your phone calls. Um, but guys, seriously, um, if there you ever have a question about anything, you're ever interested in training, or or if you just need some advice or help, I'm always here. Uh, practically any of us are always here. Um, you know, the uh, the Dean King website, thedeanking.com. Um, the the official Dean King on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, you know, I'm PDR Zen Master on Instagram. I'm on Snapchat. I'm on TikTok. Um, Lee A. Roth on Facebook. You're always welcome to hit me up on Facebook. Um, the phone number, if you need anything from Dean King, is 1 800 304 3464. Um, and please go in and follow and like and so our stuff online. Please let us know that you're interested. We're always here to help. Former students, I'm really working on some stuff that I want to get in touch with as many of y'all as I possibly can uh, because I want to do some, some different interviews and some different stuff with you guys. So please, all of our former students, start reaching out to me um, because I, I want to put something together for uh, former grads. Um, so reach out to us for that, and I hope everyone is well. All my guys that are out on the hail trail, I hope you guys are killing it and having the greatest hail year in history. Y'all take care, and we'll talk to you soon.